Hey what's up guys, today we'll be showing a video demo on how you can capture events or host data in ZOS mainframe and pass this on to Apache Kafka using Kafka connectors, specifically the IBM MQ source connector. You'll be using the password reset functionality in BIS systems to trigger an event that will capture details such as who did the password reset, timestamp of the change, the channel, the access ID, and the subuser. On this next terminal, We'll run the Kafka Connect IBM MQ source connector. So this will be responsible for copying data from ZOS IBM MQ into Apache Kafka. So for simplicity, we will be running the connector in standalone mode. We'll look at running the connector in distributed mode in a separate demo. Note as well that we are running the connector local to Kafka and remote to ZOS in Jim Glover's development server on DRL KFK80. So the two terminals at the bottom of the screen will be our Kafka consumers. We'll set up two Kafka consumers, one where it will start consuming messages from the current event, and another one where it will consume messages from the beginning of the Kafka topic. So let's proceed by starting the Kafka Connect MQ source connector. Let's start the consumers as well. So as you can see, the second consumer has picked up all the Kafka messages available on the Kafka topic. The first consumer has nothing yet because we haven't started an event yet on the mainframe. So next, let's start to reset a password to generate a host event. So let's confirm this password reset, F12 to update. So as you can see, messages have started to get picked up by both consumers. Let's do another one, maybe for a different sub-user. F12 to update. There we go. So that host event were consumed by both of our consumers. So let's do a couple more scenarios, but this time let's stop the connector and, and let's see what happens. So we've stopped the connector, the IBM MQ source connector, but let's still proceed to create some host events. Maybe a couple more for a different sub user. Twelve to confirm, and maybe one more. Okay. So obviously because the IBM MQ source connector is stopped, no messages are getting through or getting picked up by our consumers. So now let's start up the connector again and hopefully we should see these events uh, from the uh, earlier ones we created are picked up now by our consumers. Yep, there you go. So both, all of those host events that we've created when the connector was stopped were now picked up successfully by both our consumers after we restarted the IBM MQ source connector. So this concludes this demo on capturing ZOS events into Apache Kafka using IBM MQ source connector. 
watch out for the next video where we'll show in details the components used like the cluster MQQ, the COBOL program used, the MQ source connector properties, and we'll also look at running the connector in distributed mode. Thanks for watching guys. See ya. Bye.